to a basketball team in the area that is to play games in March. And here's Todd now with more on a local team that's getting used to shooting some hope, uh, hoops this deep in the season. They are. Do, they are. The York Suburban Girls are a program on the rise. And when you are showing up for practice and the calendar says March 7th, yeah, that's a pretty good sign. The potential was there. Everything fell into place for the Trojans, and they've gone on a historic playoff run. Their first ever appearance in the district final was last Thursday. This Saturday, they have a chance to secure their first state postseason win. York Suburban is no stranger to athletic success. A quick glance at the girls' basketball banner reveals it's fairly sparse. This group of Trojans continues the program's push to the upper tier with a runner-up finish at districts. I, I think we, we could foresee it with the pieces we had coming back. Um, so, you know, again, it, it might be a surprise to some, but for, for the people in this gym and in our locker room, it was, it was part of the mission all along. No team says they're happy to just make it to a championship game. Suburban plays hard and plays to win. The title game set back to Greencastle Antrim is still a landmark moment. I mean, it was a little disappointing afterwards, but like the next day, just looking back and still having that medal was so nice. And just like knowing that we made it far and making like a statement in the program. You know, when you look back on it now, um, a week or so out, you realize how special it is, how hard it is to get there. But you also realize, you know, now this is what propels you to want to get back. The Trojans are together tough, and together they want at least one state playoff win before time runs out on their historic season. I think we're at the point now where they're not playing with each other anymore. They've, they've learned to play for each other, and I think that's been probably a big part of our success down the stretch. So they're going into the PIAA tournament without one of their senior leaders, though. Alyssa Doherty underwent surgery on her arm for an injury she suffered in districts, but best of luck to the Trojans.